so much restlessness in the northern part of Nigeria. In fact, recently, bandits did the unbelievable and this got senators shocked. The Nigerian Senate on Tuesday shocked when it was told that over 5,000 people from the north in Sokoto State have relocated to the Republic of Niger and that the Nigerian army cannot protect them. The lawmakers representing Sokoto East Senatorial District, Senator Ibrahim Goba, made this revelation. Goba, while contributing, disclosed that the people of Sokoto State are now at the mercy of the Nigerian soldiers for protection against armed bandits, lamenting that the Nigerian army has completely abandoned the target areas. These developments prompted the upper legislative chambers of the National Assembly to ask President Muhammad Buhari to direct the military for an immediate expansion of their operations against banditry. You see, these people in the North will never understand the reason why these things are there. First, they need to understand that their culture and religious um, understanding, I'm not going to say because there are a lot of Muslims in Nigeria, but their own form of religion, their culture, and their own, what they've accepted as normal is the reason why they're having many of these problems. Just look at their imaginary system and structure. Many of them have not looked at it as something that is not productive. They have not looked at it as counterproductive. And when you have children all over the streets, even the ones that have been taken care of, people are still trying to see that the children come out good. They don't come out to become urchins, street urchins, criminals. Not the talk of the one that you give back to, you put them on the street, they go to some Quranic school, and they end up becoming a, 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 a ground where Boko Haram can avest and um, kind of train to become whatever they become today. They are the ones that will not listen that there is coronavirus. They are the ones that will go on trucks. They are the ones that will you know, move anyhow they like without proper understanding. They've become the lowest in Nigeria when it comes to you know, human quality. Well, recently, something strange, something strange happened. Bandits have taken over Sokoto communities and they sacked the traditional rulers and appointed judges. Senator Ibrahim Gobra, a lawmaker representing Sokoto East in the National Assembly, has said that some part of his constituency was under the control of bandits. We are talking of Federal Republic of Nigeria, but I don't think there's anything federal about the Republic. Why? Because the North have decided to come up with certain religion, religion, Sharia law. Let's just call it in a nutshell, Sharia law. And um, they claim that this Sharia law protects them against this and that, and it helps them to do this and that. And that I understand that there are some laws in Sharia that might help cop certain things, but how do you tell, how can you explain to me somebody that stole and his hands are cut and his legs are cut off what does the person become a nuisance to the society so there are a lot of issues as regards the sharia law now in a nation that practices conventional law even the law as it is is not even normal it's not even all right there are issues with the law people are asking for abrogation of that law that we have in nigeria and come up with something that is workable something that can make us progress some group of people in the north they say they are more religious than other people. They claim that they have the laws of God in their own hands. And they say they want to practice Sharia law so as to cover for their devious and very evil activities, such as marrying off underage children. Goldberg said criminal gangs have sacked traditional and political institution, institutions in most villages and towns in the area, claiming that government forces told these people they could not protect them from the bandits because the hoodlums have better weapons this is a strong one the hoodlums the bandits have better weapons we are talking of Boko Haram we are talking of these bandits they are all birds of the same feather soon they are going to have more factions of this in the north and as you can see they are already crossing the border and getting into the interstate lockdown they are already getting into the state at this moment not because when the state wasn't on lockdown. They couldn't have done this. But I believe they would think that since many people will be in their homes, people will not see them whenever they want to engage in certain devious activity. Probably that's the reason why many of them are coming in. I'm not saying all of them. Many of them are coming into the south of Nigeria. 
we have a time bomb that is already ticking and i think we are on the last stage of this imagine this criminal gang sacking them up all in the north of nigeria soon that location that region will not be enough for them and they will want to move around more and infiltrate the south of nigeria the northern decide to keep mute as i complain they see their people in idp camps they say leave them they have some ideology um that's the reason why they are this enough is enough why can't these people wake up why is it that they are politicians they are monarchs and they are religious clerics why have they kept them in this form in this very low state if you talk about education if you talk about exposure the north is nowhere to be found everything is backwards it's like a thing from the back now they are complaining that the hoodlums have better weapons gotten from where the president said they must have gotten the weapons from libya in an interview with punch newspaper he said those whose village were not too far from the border between nigeria and the republic of niger are a bit safe why because they are usually protected by the nigerian soldiers so are we saying that the nigerian soldiers located situated at the border between nigeria and niger republic they are the ones protecting but the rest cannot go down to where this insurgency or these bandits are operating why that is because the soldiers are dying for nothing by the time they get there and position themselves to sack off these bandits somebody in the military would have given the information to those bandits and aside that they said they had superior weapons imagine bandits now have superior weapons compared to what the nigerian army possesses he said our biggest problem now is that the bandits have taken over many villages and are having a field day they have constituted themselves as judges they have sacked the traditional and political institutions there so there are no judges at all where is the senator talking living abuja every one of them have left their villages left their their towns and they've moved to abuja how come these bandits are not sacking them in abuja that is because they have proper security and because many of them are involved in this these bandits will not come down to abuja or lagos where most of them are domiciled the bandits now settle disputes between people they solve and resolve quarrels between husband and wife and so on so the bandits took over government because there is no government that is simple as ABC. If bandits took over the government there and become, they become the Lord, it's the same thing with the terrorists. They are calling them bandits. They are terrorists. It's the same thing. They settled the, the, the dispute there according to their own devious Sharia laws, their own devious and dark satanic Islamic doctrines that they've twisted to favor them, to perpetrate their evil. If you look at the situation in that area it went on there is no farming because if of the band if the bandits find you on the farm they will shoot you if you sell a cow the following day or at night someone will come and collect the money so they are simply acting as agbero whatever you do bring the money down to us we are going to settle the dispute they've taken over that place they become the lord because there is no president there is no governor it's as simple as that there is no governor in that state if there is a governor how come the bandits will be this way how come the bandits have not gone to kill the families of the governor or the governor himself he went on to say they sometimes surround the whole town or village and kill as many as they can and take away whatever they want and burn the old place is the same thing as Boko Haram, Iswap and the rest of them there was even a time bandits stormed our area and our people ran away into the bush the bandits still pursued them and set the bush on fire and killed all our people there. Mr. Legislator, what about you? How come the bandits have not come close to your own family or your own house? Because you are well protected. Your kids are abroad. This is serious. So Sokoto East, Sokoto State has now become a place where nobody can stay in. They are having these issues and yet they are not ready to get out of it they're not ready to deal with this rather they'll be chasing for presidency yet they've kept their people in perpetual darkness and they've become a menace to themselves they are killing their brothers and sisters and they are happy with this keeping their imaginary system alive and keeping dirt 
in their and keep educating themselves in, in, in a wrong manner well i don't know my heart goes down to some people that find themselves unfortunately trapped or burned in that place nobody chooses where to be burned but if you are born in sokoto what will you do if you cannot get out of that place if you have been indoctrinated brainwashed you will just end up being this way it's bad it's terrible so i don't know what you guys think about this imagine bandits take over sokoto community sacked traditional rulers and they appointed themselves as judges because there is no government there is no governor that's simply what it is it's so sad it's so terrible